hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest flyme os for oneplus 2 along with that we'll also take a look at the features and the installation process how do you install that and how to install google play store in the same os first thing what we'll do is we go to settings and after that we go to about so in this you can see android version is 6.0.1 Build number is Flyme 6.7.7 and it is a beta version with a security patch of 1st January 2017. So this is about the home which we have installed which is Flyme OS. So first thing what you will notice in this room is the main thing is the UI of this room. So in this you can see it is very simple UI with the no option of menu available. All the apps are on your home screen so you just have to turn towards your left or right to get access of all the apps available on this room and it's a pretty good room which I have seen and I have also tested few uh, older versions of Flyme OS which was pretty good without any issues so let's move on the features available on this so the main features which I like according to me is first thing which I noticed is a toolbox available here so in this you have many options available here that is flashlight you have a mirror compass level so in this flashlight if you just toggle this flashlight your flashlight gets switched on and you can adjust the brightness of the flashlight according to the number given over here so in the same toolbox itself you have few things available like uh, next is mirror so once you select this option front camera pops up and it is similar like a mirror available on your device next you have compass and it is also a helpful tool or the app available inside this toolbox after that you have level so this helps you to check the level of the ground and the next is ruler you can use this to measure any of the smaller object next you have a magnifier these things are actually really helpful in the daily life so if you guys want you can just check this out so the next one what you have is an app called security so this is the app which helps uh, in cleaning up or to optimize your device so you can directly optimize your device by pressing on optimize this will free up the memory and remove the junk files available on your device so in this you have uh, data option available you can control the apps which are utilizing more data next you have uh, block list and also you have the option to allow permission for specific apps and you can also check battery stats and you also have an option of antivirus which will help you in protecting your device from unwanted apps or any other stuff coming onto your device next option which i like is the customization option available in this so in this you have a personalization option here under which you have a option of font wallpaper and theme so themes you can directly go to their store and uh, download any of the themes by default you get classic gentleman and a lady theme available here if you guys want to download more you can just visit their online portal and download from there so let's move to the next option so that is smart touch button so that smart touch button is available in accessibilities and this you have an option called smart touch so if you open this you have few options available here you can decrease or increase the opacity of the button available here so you can see this is the button I have already enabled so in this you have few options like you can just use the same button to go back or to move forward and in this you have lots of options to uh, customize you can just double tap so this is I have not selected you can select any of those options after double tap you have uh, screen shift open notification lock screen launch task manager so these are the options available in smart touch button actually it is a very helpful button it's something like on screen version of home key so you can use this button and customize it according to your requirements so the next thing is task manager so to move to task manager in this version you have a page like design with few options available here so you can see you can uh, swipe towards your right to select the app and in this one more option you have is you if you pull it down you get two options here one is lock and one is secret so if you click on the secret the complete application goes blur and which is not visible now and you can also lock this application to avoid background removal of the app and the last feature we'll take a look at is this screen recording option available here 
and in this you have lots of uh, toggles available here uh, along with the smart touch dnd and you also have a screen recorder option so if you just tap on this screen recording you get an option on your screen to start the screen recording and also you can disable or enable audio recording so these are the features which I really like on this uh, room and I have not used this room as a daily driver because uh, right now I don't use my oneplus 2 I have just kept it for making videos so now what I'll do is I'll show you the process how to install the Google Apps and how to install this room for the installation of this room you should have TWRP recovery installed in your device without TWRP recovery you won't be able to install and the download links I have mentioned in the description below so now I'll show you how to install Google Play Store on this room so for that you just require Google installer version 2 or any of the installer you just have to use that installer download from the link given in the description below and once you download that you just have to hit start button and it will automatically download required files so I have already done it and I'll also show you Google Play Store is working without any issues and, and your contacts also get synced you don't have any issues with the contact also so this way you can install Google Play Store and now to install this room what we have to do is download the files which I have mentioned in the description below so I'll show you the files which are required to download so this is the main file which you require to download and you just download this file and also guys one more thing I want to tell you the first boot up takes approximate 20 to 25 minutes so do not worry about that just leave your phone idle and keep it for charge first you have to reboot your device to TWRP recovery so that what I do is I power off my device I select volume down and power key so once the device boots to recovery just go to wipe go to advance clear everything from here leaving internal memory once this is done just go back and install the row and installation process just take hardly two to three minutes but this initial boot up will take approximate 25 30 minutes so do not worry about that make sure you charge your phone or you keep it for charge while booting up nothing much in this video guys i'll end up this video here if you like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day ahead